Deputies say he stole a woman's car with her little kids inside. That man is now suing the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department, claiming they arrested the wrong man. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. Dean Jessica Roy Molina says his name was smeared when deputies arrested him two years ago. To this day, he maintains his innocence. March 2014, something scary happened in this South Valley neighborhood. It was awful. Billy Lathanza says she was having yes, a yard sale awesome. when a woman stopped to look at the stuff. Someone jumped in her car and took off. The woman went in the streets, stopping the cars and just screaming and flailing. It was, it was horrible. The woman says inside the stolen car were her three-year-old and five-month-old. The kids were found safe alone in the car down the road. And it wasn't long before Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies arrested this man, Roy Molina, for the crime. Deputies say he matched witnesses' description of Hispanic male with a mustache in his 40s. Molina was charged with felony kidnapping, child abuse, and stealing a car. But today, Molina is suing the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department and the county, saying deputies arrested the wrong man. Molina says he was minding his own business in his yard when deputies detained him with, quote, no physical evidence. Other than being a middle-aged Hispanic, he claims he did not match the vague description. Molina says the eyewitness allegedly saw the suspect for about five seconds. Meanwhile, he spent 11 days in jail until, he says, an assistant district attorney released him without bond and didn't move forward. According to online court records, Molina's case is still pending, although in two years there's no indication that anything is happening with it. In BCSD's response filed in court today, it says defendants are without sufficient information to affirm or deny the statement of events in the plaintiff's complaint and therefore deny the same. Neither the Sheriff's Department nor the District Attorney's Office could give us a status update on Molina's criminal case. His civil suit, however, is now in federal court. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. You can read the full lawsuit along with BCSD's response in this story on our KRQE News app.